Okay. I'm going to go through several slides here very quickly, and then we'll do a another hands-on exercise. So we want to talk about saving and loading files. I want to start by saying, uh, please consider binary files only. Uh, if the end result that you desire to have is an ASCII file, uh, there's a very easy way to get an ASCII file. Uh, you can get an ASCII file directly from the instrument. Those files tend to be large. My favorite method is to use the XViewer software. Uh, and there's a trial version. You can install it on any machine and leave it permanently, long-term free version, basically, that will always convert to ASCII file. So today we're going to save binary files. Binary files are small and they're very efficient. They have built-in compression. Okay. So the DL850, um, I know your video is small, but my fingertip is pointing towards the blue button called Save. It's very near the start, stop, and the large knob here. It says Save. This button must be preset, and that takes a couple of keystrokes. So at this time, very quickly press Shift down at the bottom. It lights up when you press Shift. And then press the blue Save button. So I'm pressing the Save Menu button. It's printed here below in blue because the Shift button is blue. All of the Shift func functions are also printed on the, the front display as blue. Okay, so on the left, on, on the very first soft menu button, it says Waveform Save. Make sure this is set to On. The second soft menu button, number two, press Waveform Save Setup. And here's where you would select to save a file to. If you press the set button now, which is where my fingertip is, okay, you would select probably a USB thumb drive here. The idea here is uh, you would set the path equal USB. If one of you has a USB thumb drive, please plug it into one DL850 now. We'll go through this and save one acquisition. Have you inserted the USB thumb drive into the left end of the instrument here where my finger is? Okay, insert the drive there. Okay, let's start again at the top. Press Shift, Save, Soft Menu button number two, Waveform Save Setup. Press Set. Okay, adjust this knob with my fingertip here until you highlight USB. Press Set. Do you see here in the top left where it says Path equals USB? This is very much like DOS. Do you remember Disk Operating System DOS? As long as it says path equals USB there, we're ready to save a file. So hit escape several times, like I've done here. My screen's clear now. Now, press save button one time. Press stop. Now press save and watch your icon in the top center. I, I do not have memory here, but you should get an icon that shows that shows your progress. Press save more than one time, several times. The most important thing here is that we have preset save. So this will be one button save. You really only need to hit one button to save a file from this point forward. Okay, let's go see your file. We can load the file now. Press file here, the button here, file. Okay, then the fourth soft menu button number four, it will say load waveform. Can you confirm your file is in the list here on the screen? So turn turn the big knob here till you highlight the file that you want to reload to the screen. Okay, now at the very bottom, soft menu button number seven at my fingertip here, press that. And you may have to press OK now, like use the set knob to select left, right, left arrow, OK, set. Okay, we have another way to save an image file. The exercise that you just did you can save a waveform and a screen image simultaneously with one button. This, this next exercise will be very similar. Let's go to Shift, Save, Soft Menu, soft menu button number four. It says Image Save. Turn that on. Soft Menu button number five, Image Save Setup. This is very much the same. You're going to set a path with the set button. Set path equal USB. 
using the highlight knob here, the big knob that on my fingertip here. You'll use this and the set button. And the path will be right here where my finger is. It'll say path equals USB. Uh, hit escape a couple times. Hit start, stop, so that it starts. Okay, this acquires a new waveform. Hit stop, turn off, stop the scope. This button will go dark. This is the stop button. Now hit save. Watch the progress indicator up at the top here. The progress indicator will be at the top center of the screen. And if you want to, do it one more time. Hit save. Watch for that progress indicator. I have an error. I do not have memory. I can show you a shortcut that is good for DL750 and DL850. In fact, we'll do it right now. So let's do that very quickly. Um, on the DL850, press the, do you see where my finger is here? Print menu button. Press that button. Okay. Soft menu button number one says print to built in. That means printer on the top. Okay. This is a preset. This is a, a preset condition. So we can say print to file. Print to file. And I've selected that. So press soft menu button number one. Select print to file. At this time, you can choose format, which is PNG or BMP or JPEG, using, using soft menu button number three. I'm going to select JPEG. And then the most important here is also to set the path. And that's soft menu button number six, where my fingertip is. Press that. You have seen this menu before. It's very much the same menu as the previous exercise. So set path equals USB. So now, once you have that set up, hit escape two or three times. And then my fingertip here is on print. It will print to file every time I hit it. This is one button. The DL750 behaves exactly the same way. The menu, the menu is different, but these same buttons are very much the same. So go ahead and press, press the print button at this time and you will get an icon indicating the print status up at the top center of the screen where my fingertip is. And you, you can check to see what's on your USB. Press the button up here called File, where my fingertip is. Press File. Press Utility. You should see your files listed here. Hit Escape. 